Hello, I'm FBX Toycat, and welcome back to the video. Today I'll be showing you the top 10 competitive Minecraft moments of all time. These all come from the r slash competitive Minecraft subreddit. This is a place where people get together to talk about various aspects of competitive Minecraft, mostly UHC done on Minecraft PC servers, but also lots of other game modes from Minecraft PC multiplayer. And yeah, people get together to talk about this stuff and occasionally share some moments and clips from their game. And in today's video, I'm going to show off the top 10 clips of all time as voted by this subreddit, because some of these will literally make your jaw drop. And I think that's a pretty impressive thing that I wanted to share with all of you. Hopefully you all do enjoy the video. Like if you do like it because it helps out the channel. And let's know you do like seeing again these MLG slash competitive Minecraft moments uh, that I think you all will do. So with that said let's get straight into it shall we? And let's start with number 10 here. So again this is as voted by the subreddit of all time. Uh, the number 10 is actually called Work Smart Not Hard Ranked Skywars. So uh, yeah that's the name of it. Let's see exactly what they're doing. And as you can see uh, you know they've got like a, a free player left situation. This person's kind of scared. They're not sure they can win the fight. So what they do instead is they get the person to come over them. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my favorite kills of all time. Again, the whole like, you know what? I'm not entirely certain I can win this fight. And it makes you realize that there are some really, really easy ways to kill people that they're just not expecting. They're expecting this really long fight, but instead you can <laughs> place the block just like that and you can kill them instantly. It's a really, really beautiful thing that you can see even at these high levels of like, you know what? People are going to have this giant arms race going. But what you need to do is make one little trick happen and you can kill them instantly. And in that case, uh, there's a great example. So the ninth one here is actually called uh, UHC Gravel Trap. And this is uh, a trap that was used in a UHC to kind of uh, uh, get a free kill. And it's one that I find really beautiful because it required a lot of setup. But because the person is prepared, they, they know what the person's going to do. They can actually suffocate the guy to death. And that's what they end up doing right there. So yeah, by having lots of gravel on you, this is the one use for gravel. You can literally use it to choke someone else to death. And if you're fast enough and you have the whole thing built up well enough, then you can just choke them over and over and over again. Like you can see they've done just there. So yeah, with that said, let's move on to the next one. Number eight here, which is called bridging. Uh, so, uh, it's called, uh, sorry, Miguel makes a clutch. Play and uh, basically it looks like it's it's a guy who's you know on the deep defense. He's not sure what he's going to do, and he does the most amazing bridging technique I've ever seen in Minecraft. I don't know if I needed to do this or if he can do this all the time. It was just like a one-off thing, but you can see how he's literally bridging as he walks through the sky at this insane speed. He gets away and he actually survives to fight another day. That's right, while literally being destroyed by a guy of so much better stuff. He manages to like hide away a little bit, make the guy like take a few seconds to get to him, and then you know with the couple of seconds he does have, he manages to build a bridge and uh, you know. Again, make the gap happen and actually get away from that. The, the the situation we all dread when we're playing Minecraft, he gets away from it. And that just made me feel really cool watching that. Like, yeah, I could learn to totally bridge at that speed. I mean, I probably couldn't, but still, it's, it, it's great and it's inspiring. And it made me go, wow, good job, uh, good guy. So with that said, the next one, uh, like I just said earlier, is called Bridging While Under Pressure. So yeah, this is uh, number six here. Yeah, number seven, I guess it'd be. And it's basically a guy who's well above the map. If he gets knocked off, he's dead. And he wants to bridge across the map as fast as possible, right? But he notices he's being hit. So he does this just amazing dodge technique from two sets of arrows at once. Again, bear in mind there's a guy on the floor you can see and there's a guy well off in the distance there. These people want him dead it seems, but somehow he manages to dodge all of them. So yeah, that, that was like 15 seconds of dodging while trying to bridge all the way across the map. And uh, yeah, this is just one of those clips that shows off that you're not, even when you think you should die, even when you're doing the most ridiculously risky move in the game, sometimes you can outskill people just that little bit and make the whole thing happen. So yeah, that is uh, the next moment here. Let's move on to the one after this, which, uh, which is called Mr. Provo Makes a Slick Escape. So this is a streamer from UHC it seems uh, because you can see it's got a stream overlay but basically he tries to trick someone and it works perfectly this is what he does it happens so fast it's almost impossible to spot because wait what just happened there now he's got a horse now he's on the horse now he's riding off what, what exactly just happened there so let me just kind of walk you through this again at like slow, uh, kind of slow speed you can see how he gets in there the person comes in and tries to start killing him he places the water very quickly removes the water so the guy's trapped in the hole with no way out and he has to like slowly stack himself up break the block basically it's going to take him like 20 uh, you know 15 20 seconds to get out and then even better than that he takes the guy's horse. The guy, you know, got off his horse, took off the saddle to make it unremovable, but the guy actually jumps on the horse, immediately saddles it, places his armor on, and then runs off with the guy's horse, leaving him stranded there, which I don't know why he needs to do that. You know, I, I guess he just wanted to not, you know, have a confrontation, but the fact that he can avoid a confrontation and steal someone's horse at the same time, I thought that was beautiful. And that is uh, a little, little clip from, again, some stream there. So let's move next uh, to the uh, this one over here, which is called Reading an Opponent. So again, this is uh, one of my favorite moments that I feel like, I, 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 you might have even seen it before. It's just one of my favorite moments that just shows that again, you, you it doesn't matter how much stuff you have or how unarmored you are. Sometimes you can literally outsmart someone on this level because he places the block, he realizes the guy's gonna break below it, and then he immediately you know breaks the one block because he's got a better axe. And then oh, what's that? You fall all the way through to your death. And again, it's just a sneaky way to survive a game and uh, increase your chances of winning and stuff. And I liked it quite a bit, and that's why it's quite high up on this list. 
Uh, then after that, we have one that's called Quickly Setting Up a Counter Cannon. So yeah, this one is actually, uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's a little bit sped up, like it's a little bit misleading, but it's still very impressive, just the speed and the memory this guy has when it comes to his uh, you know TNT cannons, because he can just immediately set that up, make it happen, and send TNT flying over to their base and just destroy it all at once. You can see there, just afterwards, it's all destroyed, and that's where you can spot that this is sped up the tiniest bit, not not much, but like enough to make it seem even more impressive. But the fact that he sets up a TNT cannon on the spot to destroy everything in their base, that's pretty impressive, and it, uh, you know, just goes to show. When was the last time you set up a TNT cannon in four seconds? <laughs> Probably wasn't very recently, was it? So, yeah, that was uh, one I found very impressive, and I was uh, quite impressed with the speed up. So, the next one here is called Close Call, and I really love this one in particular because of the uh, Ender Pearl use here. So, you can see, uses the Ender Pearl to place some water, Ender Pearls back into the water a couple of times, and then manages to use the water, which the guy isn't expecting, to knock the guy off. That's right, he literally, something where he's falling into the void, because he placed, you know, he's quick enough to get to his Ender Pearls, he doesn't do it fast enough to know he's going to survive, but he does it fast enough to place the water bucket, then Ender Pearl into the water bucket, and then use that to somehow survive. It is an amazing play that I'm just, again, because it's Sky Wars, I'm like particularly feeling, and I really do quite like that. In any game mode where you've got a you know, floor below you, and it, you know, you have like this split second where you can live or die, and the girl, guy, the guy chose live, and he chose it pretty well, it seems. So, yeah, let's move on to next to the, this is the number one one before number two, uh, because, uh, although let's just call this number two, because I feel like, uh, you know, this one is kind of a cool one, but it is just like a really basic kind of like, that's how you survive games, I guess, because this guy is falling for literally a second, and he makes five or six inputs in the space of that second. So he realizes he's falling off, he has to like open the inventory, you know, uh, move the bucket down to his thing, close the inventory, scroll to the bucket, place the bucket, and he manages to do that with like time to spare, it seems. It, it really is quite impressive, and just kind of shows that no matter how small a drop you're having, if you know what you're doing, you can save yourself some full damage, or no matter how like, you know, tricky it seems to do this and this and that, you can learn to do it because this guy apparently has, and he did it to save his life just over there and get away from it, guys. So, yeah, with that said, let's move on to the final, the number one best competitive my Minecraft moment of all time. Uh, this is actually number two on the subreddit, but because it's a little younger, this is basically the number one one that just... This was literally my jaw drop. I didn't know that was a thing that you could do when you like watch just good gameplay, but that's what happened here because I was like, well, as it turns out, that's a pretty good way to do things. So he sets off six TNT next to himself. He then uses his, uh, you know, his sword to block in midair, by the way, and then lands onto some ladders he's placed to get over to the other people's base. Again, bear in mind the distance between these things. You're not meant to be able to do this, but he does it anyway. And the, the, everything about this is just so perfectly done. It's amazing. So if you're curious as like, why is that so perfect? First of all, he realizes that he has to block, but he wants to be like in the right direction so he jumps off and it, basically the damage taken he took six hearts if he didn't block it would be 12 if he didn't run away from it a little bit i'm sure it would kill him regardless so he manages to get the perfect you know distance between like dying and between not getting there then he places ladders at just the right moment climbs onto them and literally sneak attacks the other base when they're not expecting it you know that guy's running away obliviously when they're not uh, expecting it he runs onto there and it's just this amazing thing of like wow there is there is a very high skill cap when you're playing minecraft in certain situations and i hope today's video actually showed that off uh, in particular this last clip but i hope all of these uh, you know clips actually showed that off quite well um if you did all enjoy the uh, you know uh, clips then like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel let's know you do like this uh big Thank you, or, again, for all the people, uh, like you can see their names on the screen, hopefully. Uh, basically, the uh, you know, all the UHC guys are doing really impressive stuff. I, I honestly, you gotta just look at this and be like, yep, I'm not, I won't ever be that good, but it's this whole thing that inspires you to try, right, I think, and hopefully, that's all of you get from this. Um, again, go check out r slash competitive Minecraft if you want to see even more of this stuff. Uh, like it if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching. I, I just love seeing this last one over and over again, and goodbye.